shalom family another message that the lord gave me okay i know this is a, a healing and a deliverance ministry i'll be seeing lots of deliverance in my dreams but um what the lord told me from a long time ago is that deliverance is not just telling a demon come out that is not deliverance yeah that's casting out a demon deliverance is understanding is rewiring renewing your mind so that no matter what no dirty demon is going to try to take you home here because remember, if they get cast out, when they come back, they're going to bring seven more deadly, okay? So don't jump to get somebody to just cast out a demon out of you and things like that. You don't do that. You study. That's how you approve yourself to even um, to cast the demon out yourself, okay? I've never gone through a deliverance like that where somebody's come and said, demon, come out. No, I follow instructions. And Christ told us, this one can't leave unless you, 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 you fast and you pray. So for me, that's what's most important, fasting and praying with the word of God, okay? And that's what gives you uh, the resources, the equipment you need to do uh, the exact same thing for other people, teaching them how to cast out demons out of themselves, okay? Um, and to be and to stay delivered and this is what the Lord has been speaking to me um, I've also heard it from other prophetic voices that many of you okay this is what he was speaking to me because there's a new matrix uh, movie coming out soon um, I, I like to do content analysis things so when biblical babe magazine comes out if you're interested in movie you just better cop that because it's going to be real interesting y'all willing I'm telling you a lot of content is going to be in there okay so stay tuned for the magazine don't know when it's going to be out but he was like to me that that's what the chosen one is okay we know we've got a lot of chosen ones out here talking a bag of things when these are people that have been called they're called yeah but if they're still sitting in victimhood still looking like the person who you know but i can't do this and i can't do that and uh you know i've been battered and i'm rejected and all my enemies this is going to happen to them and whatever they are called they've received a call they heard the voice of the, the the lord okay but what makes them a chosen one is what we see in uh the matrix where neo at the end he goes and becomes a mediator between the machines and the humans okay and this is just to give you the visuals remember okay everything in this world is built upon the precepts the truth the word of god you will find god in everything somebody said to me and i'm trying to really not be offensive here but somebody commented because i spoke about freud oh freud was a, a freemason and i can't remember you were wearing a red barrette some foolishness and i'm just like I had to go and check to see who was speaking. This is a person who speaks to, to dolphins. I had to go and look because I was like, okay, that makes sense now. Somebody is caught up in the marine kingdom with mind controlling spirits speaking to them. Understand this, yeah? You see this book that was put together. This person, King James, he was a Freemason too, okay? So never look at, oh, you know, we have to stay away from that information because it's dangerous. No, you is the dummy. You is the dummy if you think information is dangerous. You must know who your, your saviour is. Who is Lord of Lord, King of Kings, whose word is final, who is above everything. If you don't know that and you're, you're scared, he didn't give you no spirit of fear. That's a, a demonic spirit. But I'm going somewhere else here, Lord, help me. But yeah, the chosen one, this is what he was telling me. And we'll see truth in... If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, he will always speak to you and reveal things to you. And you'll be able to see things spiritually like, wow, that's deep, Father, I see you. <laughs> Satan's a dirty liar. Um, but yeah, um, so that's what chosen ones, you are repairers of the breach. You are mediators for your family. And it's because there was somebody in your family that opened the doors to sin. Opened Pandora's box to sin in um, your life, your bloodline and the Lord called you. And I've said this before that many of you picked up a mantle that was from prayer warriors behind, uh, before you. Your grandparents, your parents, your grandparents, parents, parents, it can slip, uh, skip generations. But the Lord chose you and that's what makes you a chosen one. You are the person who came to repair the breach that allowed sin or uh, demonic oppression really to get into your um, your bloodline that you're going to be that that that's what i was, was going to say in a different video that you biblical babes you are going to be that older granny that everybody is going to come to and say can you pray for me can you pray for me because you will have had proof that the lord hears your prayers you know 
as long as you are as, as long as you are praying in line with uh, the principles of God which I spoke about in a previous video um, yeah as long as you're doing that he will always hear your prayers you will see the manifestation of your prayers because you are repairing a breach you are like this a bridge a mediator and this is something the lord has been speaking already you are a mediator you've been given a spirit of balance of justice you came to oh, the i just got revelation because i was reading is it isaiah where was that lord let me see if i find it um it was isaiah i'm sure it was isaiah isaiah 42 um let me find that. I love when this things like that happen, you know, it's just, it gets me excited. I'm not going to lie. Look at my smile now. I can't even stop it. Lord, help me. <laughs> okay, so Isaiah um, 42. But that's exactly what a chosen one is. And you've got many people who are called speaking like chosen ones, but they ain't. Don't be fooled, okay? Um, Isaiah 42. Verse 1 reads, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. And that's when you, you're, the Lord will delight in your soul once you repair the breach. You break the covenant by prayer and fasting. You break these evil things that were on your bloodline, okay? Um, I have put my spirit upon him or her, and he will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. And that's why the Lord is using, is going to use many of you. There was this thing that I saw, uh, this photo on Insta, I posted it on my story, that um, it was about who from the Bible would have been content creators. And this is something that I feel like the Lord has been alluding to, that many of you that I'm speaking to, prophets, you are content creators, okay? You are living epistles. Your lives are like the Pauls, like the, the Johns. You have so many stories to tell. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to put the Bible on a different level to downplay it at all. That's my book. Like, I'm a biblical babe. I need it. I need it still. But you are living epistles, you are living and you have uh, actual evidence of God, the substance, your faith has actually proved this, uh, pro produced the substance, um, but yeah, so you are repairers of the breach. You are the prayer warriors, okay? You are those who are going to deliver others because you have been delivered first and there are people that are going to come to you for prayer people are going to come to you but don't think don't take that lightly you're going to have to continue with your your fasting and be consistent in growing in the lord understanding your dreams seeing the dreams and saying father what does that mean but um yeah strange little message but yeah shalom <laughs>